Hi, I'm Jason from Cirque Rentals, and today I'm going to show you our uh, Snow Peak Home and Camp camp stove. This is a great camp stove uh, for uh, car camping or base camping, uh, cooking for a large group of people, family, things like that. Uh, we love this stove because of how compact it is. It's inside this small little case. Uh, and so if you're loading up a vehicle uh, for the weekend, um, this is a nice uh, addition and a really packable option for you. Uh, you can of course rent this or demo this at CircRentals.com, Circ-Rentals, uh, anytime. And uh, it comes in a little neoprene carrying case. Um, it does not include the fuel canister, so you have to add the fuel, and it is a single burner stove. And so if you're used to using a dual burner stove, you might need two of these, or um, you know, I can usually get by with using one of these in a small backpacking stove to heat up water you know, while I'm cooking something on a skillet. Um, but we use this at home even, um, the same model, um, because it's so versatile, and it's great when uh, you have a power outage or another emergency uh, situation. It's a great stove for that um, as well. Uh, and so everything folds up in here, so you just pop the top off like this and open everything up and then you have a little uh, push button here on the bottom right there a little brass button you're gonna go ahead and push that pull this the legs out and then you spin the whole thing around like that and it will click back into place uh, now I can spread the legs of the stove out like this over here, you know, one side's supported here, the other side is supported uh, by these two legs. Uh, this is where our fuel canister is gonna go. I'm gonna show you that first before I get everything closed up. Uh, it uses a normal uh, butane uh, canister, just like this one here. Uh, this one is by Snow Peak, but you can buy butane canisters, you know, even at your local hardwood store. Uh, most camping stores, sometimes gas stations will sell these, they're pretty common. Um, and uh, this one is the Gigapower uh, butane by Snow Peak, um, which pairs really nicely with this stove, but you of course don't have to use the Snow Peak fuel. Uh, we like it, it burns really clean uh, and works great. So it's gonna kind of just press in and there's a magnetic fitting here and then there's a notch so you're gonna to want to line up the notch on the stove with the propane fitting or uh, butane fitting and then push that in there and that is set up now we're gonna close the lid uh, and now our butane is contained I'm gonna rotate it for the camera just so you can see here. Uh, you have your controls right here obviously you know you would put your cook pot whatever you're using you know, in this region here uh, for cooking. And to light it, it's, it's a really great design because it has an igniter built into it, just a little uh, piezo igniter. And so just click it all the way to the bottom. It'll light itself. And then you have th really three settings or anything in between. You can go all the way down to a low, real low simmer like this, or you can turn it all the way up to kind of full blast. Uh, if you're cooking something a little bit warmer. So that's a great all around camp stove. Uh, we're gonna cook a cheese quesadilla here uh, to demonstrate the stove. Uh, we'll do that in a moment. Uh, but I just wanted to show you kind of the configuration uh, and the lighting of the stove first and foremost. Um, but just a great uh, all purpose um, you know, family car camping stove. Uh, it doesn't offer all the wind protection that some of your more traditional dual burner camp stoves would. Um, you can of course always, you know, use some uh, foil around it. Uh, I usually have things built up around camp, you know, in my cook station or some wind blocks on my camp kitchen when I'm car camping um, to block the wind. So it's usually not that big of a deal for me, um, but you, uh, you can of course, you know, cover it up with some uh, traditional foil wind block uh, if you need to. Um, it also kind of, I don't know if you can see it here, but it sort of creates a vortex of the fuel. The way the fuel comes out, it kind of comes out in a circle as opposed to straight up. Uh, and it just helps keep that heat centered, helps it kind of fan out uh, and really give you a nice even cook. Uh, and one other nice thing about this is that it is a little bit wider cooking surface than say a backpacking stove uh, that you might take. Uh, and that's a little bit nicer when you're cooking with a skillet uh, or a larger cook pot uh, and you don't want to necessarily scorch everything right in the center. This will help spread some of that heat out. You still need to manage it and kind of watch uh, what you're cooking pretty closely. That's the Home and Camp Stove by Snow Peak.
Get a little bit of scorching there. Looking really good. And there we have cooked cheese quesadilla with the uh, alpha frying pan and the Snow Peak Home and Camp stove. Uh, the alpha frying pan is from Sea to Summit. Um, and we love these again. They nest really well with our Sigma pots and alpha pots. Uh, and those are available for rent or demo on our website anytime, cirque-rentals.com. I'm Jason from Cirque Rentals. Thanks for watching.